Hey, good morning everybody. It's Ryan from Tweak My Device. Have you put too many tweaks on your Bionic and it's just a brick now? Or maybe you were trying to flash the newest reblurred ROM and you forgot to put the zip file in the storage card, got into Clockwork Mod Recovery, formatted system, and now you can't boot back up? Well, thanks to D-Hacker, we have an option other than RSD Lite this is the one-click fast boot restore and root for the Bionic. Uh, D Hacker right here is the developer. Let's give him some thanks. Uh, if you're on Windows, here's the file you need right here. Here's the one for Linux. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on Windows. This will recover your Bionic to a stock original software state, and this does have the option to root it as well. So let's head into the computer and we'll get started. Now once you've downloaded the Windows One Click Fast Boot Restore and Root Zip from dhackers thread, just save it to the desktop of your computer. And if you don't already have WinRAR or 7-Zip, go ahead and download those. I use WinRAR and I like it. So you're just going to double click to open it and we're just going to left click and drag that folder right out beside the zip. Okay, we can close that now. Now that Bionic Fast Boot is extracted, let's go ahead and connect your dead in the water Bionic. So you've got a soft brick here, it won't boot up, or it's boot looping, or it's just doing something crazy and, and it's not doing what you want it to do. So hold the volume down and the power button. Volume down first, then power, and after about two seconds, you can release both of them. Now we've got the uh, fast boot menu. Let's go ahead and plug in our USB cable, connect it to the PC. And you should get the message USB connected. All right, just set your phone down and make sure you do not unplug it until this whole process is complete. Double click to open the Bionic Fast Boot folder. And then we're just going to double click the one click Fast Boot Restore and Root. So if you connect to the one click Fast Boot Restore and Root and you see a waiting for device prompt, you need to download and install the Motorola drivers 5.2.1. Here's a link for the 32 and the 64 bit. Download those, install them to your PC, and then come back to this process. If you don't have that error message waiting for device, this tells you how to get into fast boot mode. And we're plugged in, so let's go ahead and hit a key to continue. All right. Factory restore complete. Do you want to root your phone now? If so, press yes after your phone has rebooted and you've turned on USB debugging or press N to exit. So I'm going to go ahead and use this tool to root it. Great! So you've been restored back to factory software. Just to show you, let's open up our settings menu here and go to about phone. And you can see we are on the original software. So let's go into menu, settings, and under applications, go ahead and check unknown sources. And under development, check USB debugging. So the program asked us if we wanted to root. Let's go ahead and hit yes. And this will bring up Pete's Motorola root tools. So go ahead and click root my phone. Great, it found my phone connected. And now it's going to run through the root process. Just sit back and be patient. This will take uh, about three reboots and about five minutes. Now it's pushing a few files to your phone. And now it's rooted. It'll reboot one more time. Tiger Blood, we are restored. And we're rooted. Let's check this out. Sick. There we go. Super user. All right. Good deal, guys. So that is how to restore with 
dhackers one click fast boot restore and root for the bionic take care guys subscribe to tweak my device on youtube